Oh, don't worry. I just had to go through Holland to get on a boat to go to... Like all the East and North Frisian islands, Barkham has an atmosphere uniquely its own, and you can't mistake it for anywhere else. 31 kilometers square, nearly 12 square miles. Barkham is the most westerly and the largest of the East Frisian islands. It's absolutely unbelievable here. Just looked up and I thought I was using my wide angle lens, <laughs> but I was actually just using my eyes because there's just so much beach and what they say, call in Germany, weiter, which is kind of, it means distance and wideness. Oh, I'll just show you. I can't explain. The first time I came here, I stayed in a hotel in the bustling but not busy town with its sophisticated buildings. And this time, I was on the campsite, just a few minutes walk from this huge, huge beach. And it just goes to show, if people have been grumpy with you, if you possibly can, just get out into nature and your second-hand grumpy mood should probably disappear very quickly. But actually, I would have had to have an Olympic standard grumpy mood to have sustained that on this beach, on this island in the North Sea. The last of my bad mood evaporated when I rounded this corner and saw this. If I am not mistaken, this is the largest beach of the seven East Frisian islands. It's hard to imagine a bigger one. But why was I in a bad mood? Well, I'd had a few less than pleasant encounters on my journey over from Wangerhoge, and I'm just so sensitive that it had been one too many. But I am on the ferry, even though I couldn't pay for my coffee. The police stopped us, and there was a unpleasant person trying to annoy me when I was trying to get on the ferry. Now, being sensitive is great for noticing beautiful moments to film for YouTube and for making music. But sometimes real life can get me down a bit. Even being in my newly and nearly finished camper van on the campsite on this exciting island wasn't quite getting me in the zone. But then I went shopping for dinner and the German woman on the Casa, the checkout, gave me a lovely smile that made me feel so welcome. I told her she had cheered me up, but I doubt she realised how much her friendliness had mattered after my stressful day. I can honestly say I enjoyed every minute of the rest of my stay on Barkham. Now my bad mood had broken. The next day I saw a bit of the town as I walk to and from my show. I wonder if this is because you just never want to leave Falkland. I wanted to go back the next day and show you the same by daylight.
this live music as you're walking along the promenade. Barkham is so modern, but it hasn't forgotten those traditional seaside things. Of course, I won't put the music they were playing on the video because I haven't asked their permission, but I will tell you what they were singing. They were actually asking everybody who walked by and the surfers if they would subscribe to my channel. They said, she's one of us, she's a musician too, and it would really help her out and for free. So maybe you will follow their advice if you haven't already. I'd love it if you'd join me here. Waiting for the ferry, I saw this little train and ran over to film. Look, the driver waved and the little girl in me loved that. When I was a child in Wales, I used to wave to people I would see on the train that passed through a valley down from my garden. So Borkham really made a lasting impression on me. It may be the largest of the East Frisian Islands, but that doesn't stop it from being a magical place with a particularly warm welcome. Borkham was the last but one stop on my tour and I'll go back in time to show you where I was in between Usedom and here in my next videos. My next and last stop on the tour was Spiekeroog, the only East Frisian island I haven't yet filmed and I couldn't wait. Hi guys, Spiekeroog unfortunately has to wait. You might be able to hear that I am unfortunately ill. So as it was the last planned concert this tour, we're just going to go home. Uh, it's very, very rare that I have to cancel a show. Uh, really, really sad. The events department were very understanding and kindly said we can arrange a new date soon. I hope it won't be too long before I can capture the gorgeousness of that island for my channel too. And I will be honest, I left Germany only for a couple of hours, but I was just so happy when I saw the sign telling me I was back in Lande, in this beautiful country that I call home.